Hi, I'm Mary, and he's Patrick, and we're from the atracktapestore.com. So, um, what Mary's done is put in front of me these 12 different uh, 8 track cartridge types, and she has uh, challenged me to open each one of them. And uh, we're going to do that in a series of um, 12 videos, one on each cartridge type, and there'll be a conclusion video at the end with some comments from um, uh, different people that peer reviewed this video. But first, a little background on us. Our website is the atracktapestore.com and we are active on Facebook through our store's page. Um, the page is the 8-Track Tape Store. Links are included in the description of this video. Behind us is part of our rock and pop collection. Um, and in this room, we have floor to ceiling full of thousands of 8-Track tapes. All over. Yep. And my work desk is over to the right, and Patrick's is in another room um, in, our, in our house where we have thousands of more tapes in our sales catalog. Um, for the first couple of years, we have opened and serviced about 10,000 8-track tapes. And this is because we insist that all of our, our tapes that we sell are serviced, working, and guaranteed. Um, and so back to me, right, honey? So um, we're going to start in the next video uh, with this first cartridge type here. This is a three-tab uh, Columbia-style cart. And then we'll, uh, you know, progressively get a little more difficult. Here's the two-tab cartridge, five-tab. We'll go with um, a Warner cart after that. This is an audio pack cart. This is a tricky Learjet cartridge, and we're going to show you a trick on how to open that one. Um, this is a, a cartridge that's been factory sealed. Uh, those are common early cartridges. This is a Module 8 cart, and we'll show you another uh, trick in that video on how to open that, that uh, difficult tab that's inside there. This is a... Um, uh, cartridge with a metal pin. We're going to show you a couple of different methods to uh, apply heat to that to open it. Automate 8 cart. This is a uh, Fidella pack cart. And this is the hard one, right, honey? You'll see these um, associated with truck top stop tapes. And luckily, uh, as we get to the back end here, uh, the tapes are, are less and less common for sure. So when we're done with this video series, we're planning on doing another series on how to service your own tapes. Um, once the tape is open, we'll show you how to replace the track changing foil, make back splices, re-spool the tapes, replace the foam pad, and correct tension issues, and then also clean the inside of your cartridge. Um, so that's uh, for the next series, right? Mm -hmm. And um, for now, in the next videos, we will go through all of these tapes like I mentioned. So I also said that um, this whole video series is being reviewed by um, a couple of luminaries out there in the 8-track world. Uh, one of them is your buddy, John Constantino from 8trackavenue.com and uh, the other is uh, Patrick Craig from the Facebook group, Eight Tracks in the Wild. And um, those guys are providing feedback, which will be you know, about different tools and methods and um, uh, different ideas. And those are going to be shared with all of you in um, kind of a video at the end. It's a conclusion video that will show some, some different ideas that are out there. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this upcoming video series. This is Patrick and Mary from the 8 Thank you.